Welcome back to Captain Envy Industry. This is the Let's Play series where we started right from scratch and I'm showing you along the way how to develop your cities with a lot of tips and tutorials. Don't hesitate to check the previous episodes, you can find the playlist in the video description below. I also have many other videos like efficient layouts you can look for on my channel. In the last episode in this series we did a massive massive reorganization and sort of increase in our development we have here a huge concrete factory it's almost 100 concrete per minute that's working pretty well it's not fully finished as you can see we haven't connected um, the limestone and coal or uh, at the beginning but everything else is connected a lot of interesting um, things happening over here we also really increased your production of iron fully automated from start to finish. It's feeding here into concrete part and as well as construction parts number two, but we didn't connect the electronics and that's what we're gonna do here. We are also producing a lot more iron than what we're using. These are for now in assembly manual. We'll probably very soon move them to in simply electric. I'll show you that. As I said here, we, I started to expand in between the two episodes, but didn't build it. This will be our electronics. The electronics are built here from rubber and copper. So we have the rubber coming here and the copper here. You may be wondering why I'm connecting so close like this, is to avoid having to pay the electricity consumption for the conveyor and the resources also. This is two construction parts and two rubber. And then these electronics are going, of course, into our two assembly here for construction part two. And see, this one is going on the floor. This one is going just above level one. And I'm also connecting these electronics over here. What is that? Vehicle parts. It's using iron, mechanical parts, and electronics. That's why the electronics are coming from here. The iron is coming from there. And this will be a stock of mechanical parts. And then, of course, they are stored here. This won't be critical, it's not like I want to create tons of vehicles right now. I'm actually at the limit until we have this research that's finished. But still, it will be important to, to have sort of everything at the same place, a bit like nicely connected. And of course, we're going to optimize the production. We're going to calculate and show you that this is enough. This is what we want for this. But this one is going to go into... Um, other factories more for mechanical parts because we aren't producing that and that's why i'm also starting here to destroy all of those things i'm destroying all of these because now we are making everything here to make electronics we need copper and rubber so that's why i've also started to improve my copper production we have a blast furnace here that's transforming the copper oil into molten copper but it becomes impure copper and that's why we need to put here some copper electrolysis. They need water on top. That's why I also have put a fluid storage here. Then here we have, uh, I forgot to put, this is a slug flag that's coming out over here. I haven't connected once again uh, yet. Those two storage here. We'll probably later on also double this over here, but we're not there yet. And this will stock, you know, my copper. The rubber is made from coal and diesel. And if you remember in the previous episode, we are actually having a bit of problem on diesel. And we are producing quite a bit of crude oil. I have reserve of crude oil, but I'm actually not making a lot of diesel yet because I only have one of these basic distillers. On top of this, remember that the oil or the crude oil is quite limited. You only have one reserve. And if I take out all of the other ones, this is the only reserve here across the whole map. So that's why we need to discover it on the map. We haven't discovered it yet. We only discovered this one here. I actually just sent the ship over here. Let's see if we find something. It will be important to find that at some point. And also here, I need to start creating a real big diesel production. It's not so easy because you have the wastewater and the exhaust to deal with, but we definitely need to do it. Okay, so we've basically finished this part here. I want to explain the goal is for the consumption of iron to be just slightly higher than the production. This way, the production will never stop. We'll always, I mean, as long as we have, of course, iron ore and coal, 
it will never stop and this we will also always create slag and use that slag into our crushers here to make some concrete and therefore um, build you know parts here basically each of these is 12 right so that's 48 on the left and 48 on the right what i've done is actually has done a slight change here is uh, before this was connected i disconnected it and separated them completely to really just handle this as 48 this as a 48 this 48 here will be mainly used into construction parts right now they're only using 4.5 each which is only 18 uh, times 4 right but this is because they are manual i will soon upgrade them to electric and then this will double it this will mean 36 which means that we have still 12 available for uh, for the 48 so we're going to use some here and some here this one is also only three but this will be upgraded also move to six and this one we won't upgrade also this one is creating mechanical parts which then can be fed back into this one as it was needed mechanical parts remember and also electronics and the electronics are here so basically all of this will use 49.5 instead of 48 so just above and it will be perfect now on this side here so as i said first of all i've connected over here to make my iron storage here then we are mainly going to create mechanical parts mechanical parts are used into um, the vehicle but most importantly they are used into maintenance so far we don't need a lot of maintenance but later on we'll definitely need more so I just want to make sure that this is um, working full. Of course, all of this will only work if I use those mechanical parts, but we can also start storing more and more for now. So anyway, three of these, this is only 7.5 in manual, but again, we will move them to electric. That will move to 15, 15 times 3, 45. And then on top of that, I've put here one that we won't upgrade, just a simple assembly for construction parts. I always have a bit of wood, a bit of concrete inside my system. So this is once again going to be 1.5 above the production. So all of this, I think will work really well. This is all fully automated. There's no trucks at all, except just for this one here. We'll have a truck taking, you know, this. This is the only truck in this whole thing here. Then second, if you remember, we were in trouble with our fuel. Instead of trying to fix it over here, which I think I made a big mess, I said, let's just start it from scratch. And that's what I've done here. Now, one of the things to consider is that the liquid dump can take 60 per uh, minute wastewater. One of these things is 12. So we can have five of these on one of this liquid dump and that's what i've done here you can see four of these but there's a space here for a fifth one and it's actually sort of the perfect space now if i put it there it, it fits very nicely so i've put four and we can put a fifth later on why four and not fifth i'll explain just now this is connected in this main line over here so this is the dump this is that main line and each of these as a 36 exhaust now for this normal level one smokestack this is 60 so we can't put two on the same plus honestly these things cost so little that i just decided to put one on each very you know doesn't take a lot of space and then one thing you do have to be very careful of is the diesel it's 24 per minute meaning that if you try if you try to put two on each, that's 48. That goes on one pipe, that's fine. Put a third one, you're above 60 already. And a fourth one, you're definitely above 60. So basically what you have to do is to put two by two. And that's what I've done here. If we look at this one, it goes here. And that one, it goes here. So those two are connected on the same pipe going on that one. And then those two are connected on the same pipe that goes on this one over here so this is working fine here and the pipes won't have any blockage at least as if i understood correctly 
Now, if I want to put a number five, this will actually require me to put another pipe and another depot. Otherwise, there will be a blockage somewhere. But what's great about this layout is I can also very easily copy this, right, and mirror it on that side. And then, of course, if I have number five here, I can also have number 10 over here. And then we're back into something that is, is perfect because, you know, this would be one pipe, one pipe, and those two can be linked to one pipe. And that will mean uh, three fluid storage over here. We'll do that when we need it, because honestly, I, f I hope that four will be enough. That that's already quite a bit. Um, so yeah, this is connected here to the fluid storage. And then, what else do we need? We need the crude oil and the coal. The coal is the easiest because it's only six. So with just one coal storage, I can connect to all of these. That's what I've done here. It goes to level one all the way and goes down. It's a lot harder for the crude oil. Why? Because it's 54 per basic distiller, right? So basically, because a pipe is 60 per second, this is basically one pipe per thing. The good thing is that the fluid storage obviously has two exits. So that means we can have for four distillers, we can have two storage. And then we just need one pipe for each. This is what you see here. This one goes there and this one goes there. So once again, if I want a number five, I actually need one more storage again. Um, and if I, you know, if I'm thinking about the full layout with 10, this will be five storage, at least until we get to pipe level two, then we can change that completely. And then because this is 54, that's a lot to transport for trucks. So I said, let's just pipe the whole thing. But of course, because again, this is 54, that means we need one pipe for each uh, of the 54. And therefore, you also need a medium bridge at least uh, to be able to have those four pipes, or you'll need two sm small bridges. And lastly, one of these things here is only 18. So three of these is 54. So now we have 54 times four, so we need four of these. That's what I've made here. Obviously, all of this is going to cost a lot of resources. Right now we have 200. I don't think that's going to be enough. So we need to be a bit smart about which to prioritize first. I'm also, by the way, deleting this one here, which was a bit useless. And uh, after we're also going to delete, I think, all of this. We'll probably also delete the rubber maker and then make a nice uh, rubber maker, you know, layout. So anyway, that's the idea of the fuel. Hopefully that will be enough. As I said, we need to be just a bit smart about where to start. That's what we're going to do. And let me also delete this now that I've showed you why I had it. Um, we need for sure this one first, right? And if we don't have this, we're going to be in trouble. This one for sure too. And I want to, of course, do also this pipe over here. Yeah, I don't need this one. I do need this one, this one. And we're going to need this. Otherwise, it won't go anywhere. And actually, this is not the first thing we need to do. Then we definitely need this. We need this. And that one, we unfortunately need the whole thing. So that's fine. We need that one. This one. This. This one. This one. And this is the one linked to those ones. That's why I started with these ones. Okay, so this is really what's key to get first. Um, and yeah, we also need this one is actually. Yeah, let me just quick deliver it. Okay. So that's the first thing. Let's unpause and try to use a bit of unity also on that one and on those long uh, am i out already i'm out of unity now it's not a problem of resources it's a problem of unity 
So that's gonna make my trucks very busy for now. But oh, maybe this one we can unity. Yeah. They don't cost a lot of unity. But if they don't work, I'm in trouble. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, this one. No, I think that's fine. Uh, we do need this one. Okay. That way this will just flow. Flow, flow, flow. Why is it not flowing actually? Oh, it is. It is. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I mean, this is already working, I think. Uh, so this one should be the next one. And let's see how quickly it's gonna <laughs> fill out. Okay, already going up. Great, love it. We're emptying here. Hopefully that will empty, you know, somewhere here or somewhere there. Just to make sure that it can continuously create new ones. Okay, so that's good. We still have a bit of resources. But before, let's ensure that we create all of this. Look at this. This is all moving, moving. I love to see those over your belt moving. <laughs> the best feeling to see them moving now. Especially when those things are going to restart. And therefore, this one can restart. I love to see that. Perfect. That's my level 2. Level 1. Mechanical parts are going to restart. This is very, very good. Love it. Oh, the, the ship is back. We should definitely resend it. But, and look at this. The fuel is definitely back up. I think we're doing great on fuel. Um, why is this? Oh, this is going down because I have this one on top. I have, I have two. So I sh I don't sh this one should be off. That is fine. And then that should stabilize this one. Wood is a bit down, but still we have ton. Oh, electronics just went down. That is a problem. I am making four. Oh, and that's because I'm using six. Yeah. Wait. So this one should be the first one I upgrade. So look at this. Now it's going to 12. 12. So three. And three, that's six. And on top of that, here we have 1.5. So that way, my electronics are going to go up. Remember, we also need three here. That is great. Okay. Oh, we have one pickup problem stuck here. That does happen from time to time um, because of, especially if the, t if you know the terrain falls, if we don't have walls. To just recover it with some unity. So yeah, we're we're in a pretty good place. I really like that my fuel now is fully up. Now a very interesting problem is it says we don't have enough maintenance. We can see only 30%. It's because here there's no electronics for some reason. And we actually have quite a lot of electronics, 150. And you can see quite a few here. So one thing we'll have to do, I think in the short term. In the long term, or not not so long, but very soon, I'll show you an even better way to do it. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to ensure that here there's some electronics with a very high priority. And we're going to connect that. Okay. Okay. This is mechanical parts and electronics. We definitely need that. This is really critical. That's why I put priority number one. Hopefully this is this truck here. Nope, it's not. Well, hopefully this will be another truck soon. Because <laughs> we are making electronics. You know, it is here. I have the trucks export on ASAP. Okay, perfect. Okay, they are going to fill it out. Okay, this is restarting. That should hopefully 
fix it very quickly. Hope you liked this episode. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any thoughts about this series or the game. Love to hear about it and I hope to see you next time.